So hello everyone, welcome to hypermed.com. So this time we will talk about hypothesis testing using p-value test. Okay, please look at this example. In an advertisement, a pizza shop claimed that its mean delivery time is less than 30 minutes. A random selection of 36 delivery time has a sample mean of 28.5 minutes and a standard deviation of 3.5 minutes. Is there enough evidence to support the claim at alpha equal to 0 0.01? Okay, we will use a p-value test. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to organize it. Basically, so population mean equal to 30 and then sample mean so we just say 28.5 and then the standard deviation equal to uh, 3.5 and then uh, number of n equal to 36 now given alpha equal to 0 0.01 okay so basically we are using uh, this value to analyzing it p-value test here and to find out p-value, we need to find um, sampling mean standard deviation. Okay, so sampling mean standard deviation. So this is equal to original standard deviation divided by square root. So basically number of n. So using this one. Okay, so remember that. All right. So then now, let's set up the hypothesis, hypothesis test here. So uh, it shows that less than 30 minutes, so it become HA. So HA, so mu, so mu is, so less than 30 minutes. Oops, that's too big here, so I'm going to make it. Okay, and then that's our claim. Alright then, HO. So HO will be mu is, so mu is what bigger than, uh, mu is bigger than or equal to the 30. Okay. Okay. So now we have two different hypothesis settings. I'm gonna just adjust this one too. Okay. Then now, so based on this information, we can find out p-value, especially it shows that less than. So we can just find out normal distributions p-value. Okay. But remember that we are using sampling mean distribution. So I can say so equal to normal. So p-value that equal to normal distribution and then we are uh, selecting sample mean 28.5 comma population mean 30 comma sampling mean standard deviation the comma the cumulative yes okay then now we got p equal to point zero zero five oh six now alpha equal to point zero one so we just compare between p-value and alpha here. As you see, alpha is bigger than p-value, right? Since alpha is bigger than p-value, we reject HO. So now, so claim on we reject HO and the claim was on HA. So there is enough evidence to support the claim. Okay, uh, it implies that uh, the pizza time's delivery time is so. It implies that uh, the pizza shop's delivery time is less than 30 minutes. So that is correct, basically. Okay. 
So thanks for joining on this video and then I will come back with a different video soon. Alright, thank you. Bye.